In this video, we're going to be looking at averages. Now there's three types of averages. There's mean, median, and mode. And you need to know all three different types of averages. So here I've got three of them written down. Now you might be saying to yourself, why is one of them written more than the rest? And also maybe why is it in this certain order? because I've deliberately chosen this order and the fact that mode is written more than the others was on purpose. It's to do with what they mean. Now I put the mean first because it's the go-to average. Whenever people talk about averages, everyone works out the mean. And we'll talk about how to do that later. Okay, so why did I write mode more often than the others? It's because that's what the mode is. Mode is the number which is most frequent. The one which there is more of. And median, I've put it in the middle. Because the median is the middle number when the numbers are in order. So mode is the most frequent number. Median is the middle number. And mean, I think I'll leave it for later. We'll look at the mean towards the end of the video. Okay, so let's look at some numbers and start off by working out the mode. Okay, so here we've got some numbers. However, they're a bit jumbled up. But if you noticed, and I hope you did, it looks like QA from exam QA. But of course we need to tidy it up. That's a little better. What would be even better is if we put them in order of size. Now we're ready to go. So we said we're going to work at the mode first. Now remember we said mode is the most common number. So which is the most common number here? And hopefully you said two. So the mode is two. So you could say the mode is the most easiest one. It's just the most frequent number. Now let's look at the median. Now for the median, you must, must, must put them in order. So we've already done that, so that's okay. However, with the mode, even in that jumbled up order, the QA we had at the start, you could probably work out the mode, but the median, you'll have no chance. So let's go ahead and work out the median. Hopefully you remember what I said the median was. And if you've forgotten, I'll give you a little hint. Now I'm sure you've probably all already said it. If you think you know what it is, write it down because I want to show you the way to do it. So one way of working at median is just crossing them off from the ends. And I'll show you that now. So we cross the numbers off at the ends. Then we do it again. And we're going to keep doing this. And we'll do it one more time and we see the number in the middle. It's the two. And hopefully you said it was the two. So our median is two. Now some of you might be asking, what if there's two numbers in the middle? So let's quickly look at an example which that might happen in. Okay, so what's the median here? Now they're in order so we can start. Okay, so we've crossed off once. If we do it again, we'll have no numbers. So we're not going to do it again. Now there's two numbers in the middle. So which one do we choose as the median? Now, if you already know how to work at the mean, that's what we're going to do. We're going to work at the mean of the four and the five. But if you're not sure about that, I'm going to show you how to work at the mean later. So if you have two numbers in the middle, what you do is you add them up. And that gives us nine. Four plus five is nine. Then you divide that number by two. And nine divided by two gives us 4.5. So what do you do with those two numbers in the middle? You add them up and you divide that answer by 2. Okay, so now finally let's look at the mean. So here's the formula for the mean. It's the sum divided by n. Now what is the sum? To work at the sum, you add up all the numbers. Like so. And that gives you the sum. So you can do this on mentally or you can use your calculator. And you should have got 27. All these numbers add up to 27. Now, what is n? 
because that's the next thing we need for the formula, sum over n, which works out the mean. Now, n is just how many values you've got. And if you count them, we've got nine values here. Finally, we can fill in that formula. So the mean is 27 over 9, which gives us 3. So the mean is 3. So with this set of numbers, we've got the mode as 2, we've got the median as 2. However, we've got the mean as 3. But all three of them tell you the average. But they're not necessarily going to be the same. So let's work out the mode and the median from a frequency table. So here we've got a frequency table. Now it's the number of times a sample of people visit the gym every month. So if you're not sure about what frequency table is, what it's saying is that four people visit the gym zero times. Five people visited the gym once a month and so on. And if you add up all these frequencies, you'll find out that 15 people are sampled. Okay, so let's work out the mode. So remember, mode is the most frequent number. And you can see the highest frequency is 5. So 1 is the mode. 1 is the most common number of visits to the gym every month. So the mode, you just choose the number which has the highest frequency. Now the median, unfortunately, is a little complicated from a frequency table. We can use this formula, n plus 1 over 2. However, it doesn't tell you the median. It just tells you which term is the median. For example, if they're all listed in order and the answer came out as 5, it's just telling you the fifth number is the median. So this formula doesn't tell you the median. It just tells you which position the median is in. You'll have to go and then look it up. Let's try to make more sense of this. Okay, so first thing you should be asking is what is n? n is just the total number of people, the sum of the frequencies. So you just total up all the frequencies and that tells you what n is. And if you add them up, frequencies you get 15. So we've got 15 values here. And now we can fill in this formula. So we've got 15 plus one over two. 15 plus one is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So 8 is not the median. Be careful about that. 8 is the number we look up. The 8th number is the median. So if you had a whole list of numbers, like we had earlier, an order of numbers, it's telling you the 8th number is the median. However, we haven't got the numbers listed up. We've got them in a frequency table. So we're going to have to find it from the frequency table. So the first four numbers are zero, we know that. The next five numbers are one. Now if we go past the first four numbers and the next five numbers, well we've gone past the eighth number, haven't we? So we know the eighth number must be amongst those five numbers. So we can comfortably say the eighth number must be one. Because if you had these numbers listed out, you have four zeros, 0, 0, 0, 0, followed by five ones, 1, 1, 1, 1, and a 1. So the eighth number will be a 1. And that's our median. Our median is 1. Now, working out the mean from a frequency table, I've done a separate video for that one. Working out the median just like we did now was also a little bit tricky. So I do advise you to watch that part of the video again, just to get it clear in your head. How the mean is a bit longer, so I've done that separate video. So go and have a look at that video. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.